hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a uh, favorite songs that i've been loving at the moment or actually just like my updated playlist as you guys know or may have known um in most of my videos i'll leave my spotify link down below in the description box and what i usually do on spotify is i'll make monthly playlists so like for january of 2018 i'll make a playlist Hopefully like enough songs for like every day of the month, but sometimes I go overboard or sometimes I add less songs, but this month I've been doing, well so far I have 41 songs, which of course is not 41 days in January, but I don't know, I just found too many good stuff and I kind of had to save some of the songs for February just so it's not an overload in January because I find that's also difficult too is that if I'm like, especially with December, um, in November, I found a lot of songs, and in December, I couldn't really find that many songs where I ended up adding songs from November's playlist, and I kind of don't like to repeat songs, but it's kind of hard to do monthly, so I think I might have to find a different way of doing it, or maybe I'll just do, like, some sort of, like, mood playlist, like, sad songs or happy songs, but not exactly, like, those specific playlists, like, a happy playlist, like, that's kind of weird, but kind of, like, chill playlists or, like sad songs I don't know but right now I'm just sticking with the monthly playlist and I'm going to share some songs with you guys from the January playlist I'm not going to share all of them I'm probably going to share like my top 10 that I found that I really really like off of here but if you want to see all the songs that are on my playlist of course the link will be down below to my Spotify so the first song I've been loving is a song called Omens and I actually found this randomly i think through my like discover weekly the discover weekly playlist if you guys haven't checked out your discover weekly it's really awesome because it really takes like it really gives you songs that you would actually listen to i was surprised because almost like i think they update it every monday but every time i listen to it all the songs i love so i'm like they do a great job at like going through your library and your playlist and seeing what you like already and then creating a playlist every single week based off the songs that you've been listening to throughout the week before. So this song, Omens by James Chatburn, I never heard of him. Um, this is the only song I've listened to, but I do want to look more into his other music, um, which I might have to do that today with some of these artists. But this song is very, it's very like a dark, deep sort of song. I don't know if I'm going to insert any samples of the songs just in case I get copyrighted, but if I do, you'll see it right now. But this song, I don't know, I just like the tone of his voice that he uses and like how he sings certain notes. I don't know, if I did share a clip with it, um, you guys probably would hear what I'm talking about. But I don't know, it's just a really nice, it reminds me of the winter time, that's why I kind of chose it for the month of January. And it just puts me into a nice mood and I find myself really singing along to it. I don't know, it's just a really strong vocals that is in that song and I just really like it. The next song is a song that I love from Kendrick Lamar and this is my favorite song besides Swimming Pools. Swimming Pools is like my karaoke song but this song is like one of my top favorite songs from Kendrick Lamar and this is on his from his last album Damn um, and this is the song Pride. Now this song a few people I feel like they think it's a little bit too slow and like not like actual I don't know not actual rap music but like it's not that like heavy rap where it's like beats and everything it's just like a slow mellow and i think i like that it kind of sounds like old school to me i put my faith in these lyrics hoping i make a band i understand i'm perfect i probably won't come around this time i might put you down last time i ain't give a fuck i still feel the same now my feelings might go numb you're dealing with cold thumb i'm willing to give up a leg and arm and show empathy from lady parties and functions like you. um but yeah i just really like also his tones and his voice that he uses in this song and how he goes like in and out of like deep voices I don't know it's just a really nice song and I it stuck out to me when I listened to the album the first time and ever since it's I feel like it's the best song of the album to me personally I know everyone likes loyalty and is it loyalty with Rihanna I think or humble and stuff like those are great too but pride 
that's my best one right now. The next song is from an artist called James Vincent McMorrow. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I remember my sister used to listen to him. Like, the name really stuck out when I found him again on here. And I realized my sister used to listen to him. But this song, I think it's from, like, his new album. I'm not exactly sure which album. Let me see. I think it's from the We Move album. Yeah, it's from his album We Move that came out in 2016. And it's the song Get Low. And there's a specific part in the song that kind of has, like, that electronic feel to it. Put your heart in cool, gather in a circle, drop into a leaf, praying for forgiveness from you, begging please, clapping like we mean it. At one part in the song, and it kind of gave me, like, a Daft Punk sort of feel. You can't really hear it, but if you listen, like, closely, like, you'll hear at one part of the chorus you hear that little like beat in there with that electronic beat and I don't know I just really like that for the song like it kind of gave it like a different feel because I know he's usually with more of like a softer sort of music and this was a little bit more like edgy to it I don't know but I just really like it the beats come in at the right time and yeah check that one out too the next one is from an artist that I love a lot well, not a lot, but her songs, for some reason, I just really like them for, like, this time of year. And her name is Feist. Um, She's been out for a while, and I think some people know her. I know some of her songs would be, like, in commercials and stuff. So she's kind of big, but it was more, like, in, like, 2010 sort of time. Um, but the song that I like from her is Mushaboom. And I remember I used to listen to this song all the time in, like, high school, like, during the winter time, and rediscovering it kind of gave me back memories I believe she has a song in 500 Days of Summer and that's how I found her I'm not sure if it's that movie or something else she was in or someone's YouTube video I watched and they were talking about her but I found this song and it's just like I don't know it's just like a nice like it makes me feel happy inside it's a nice little I don't know also with her voice like she does like cool stuff with her voice so I really like that one just check that one out also the next song is Wary by Solange I think that is one of my favorite songs also from her album and when I saw her at Panorama last year she performed this song and I don't know every time I think about Every time I hear this song, I think about Panorama and I miss it so much. But yeah, this song is really nice. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know, you guys know Solange. If you don't, check her out. But it's like, it's really soothing to listen to this song and I just find myself playing it in the background. But you know that a key is only a if it didn't have her vocals it would be just as great as it does when it has her vocals so I like that one too check that out from her album the next one is a short one but this is also from panorama which kind of stuck out to me but it's freak oceans close to you it's a really short song i wish it was longer like you know those songs that you just wish was longer but they're like a minute and like 30 seconds long so that's what this song is to me <laughs> I wasn't devastated But you could have Held my hand through this baby In my mind But of course his last album is totally different It's something different that I've never really heard from R&B artists like him if you would consider himself R&B And when it came out I was like this is totally like different Like this is a different feel so Close to You stuck out also. Of course, I love all his other songs on that album. Plus his, um, plus from his Channel Orange album too. But this last album was amazing. I love all the songs, but Close to You this month has really stuck out to me. 
The next song is from the group The XX, if you guys ever heard of them. And the song is Angels. Um, I actually found a song in the movie that's on Netflix right now, if you guys want to check it out. It's the movie called Vincent and Roxy, featuring Zoe Kravitz. And I love Zoe Kravitz. She's so beautiful. But this song was in there at the end of the movie. I'm not going to give away any spoilers in the movie, but it's at the end of the movie. And that scene, it just like stuck out to me. The movie also has Kid Cudi. And I love Kid Cudi. You guys don't know my obsession with Kid Cudi, then I don't know. You don't know me, but I love Kid Cudi. But <laughs> this song was actually in the end of the movie and it just stuck out to me with the scene. And leaving without them Being as in love with you as I am Being as in love with you as I I am me. Up the part that it was showing, and I don't know, I just love the beat of it, the vibe of it. It's just it's a very build up song, like it builds up really quickly, and it's, it's a good feel. It gives you a really good feel. So, I love the show Insecure from Issa Rae, and she actually, I think, has an album to the show that features like different artists, and the main one that I fell in love with was Insecure by Jasmine Sullivan and Bryson Tiller. With a chill vibe with a nice time with a laid back who don't pick fights who ain't insecure. Yeah. Why you gotta be so insecure? Yeah. When I did all I could do but you be wanting more. I like this one because it kind of sounds like an acapella song to me like you have a beat in the background but you can tell it's kind of like someone's voice doing the beat and of course they tweak a little bit probably in the studio but it's kind of like they're both singing an acapella and I think that's like so awesome like it sounds so good like they don't even need music and this just sounds so great it's like the way they could change their voices and the notes and stuff just using their voice like I love this song. It makes you feel like a badass when you listen to this song. Like, why you gotta be so insecure? Why you gotta be so insecure? Like, you know? That's, that's all I wanna know. The next song is from the Twilight soundtrack. And <laughs> this is from a guy, an artist, excuse me, named Reeve Carney. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've listened to his other songs, but I wasn't really getting into them. But this song is was only made for... The Twilight series. I think it was probably Breaking Dawn Part 2, the last one. And this is called New For You. If I surrender, you hold me and never let go. Your love's a memory, moving is one. My heart's a sea. This is like a wintry vibe to me too because Twilight just seems very wintry to me. Um, but I don't know, I like this song. Like all of the Twilight songs are very like dark and deep. I get seeing you fails too, but <laughs> this one I really like also and I don't know, his voice is very interesting, but for his other music I can't really get into it, but Hopefully I can listen to it again maybe a second time and see. If not, I'll just stick with this song. The next song is also another band that my sister introduced me to. Um, she listens to this song on, I don't know, they did like a live like acoustic version on YouTube like a few years ago or more than a few years ago, I think like 2012, 2013. And this is the group called Glitches. I don't know if they're a band or a group, but it's the song Organelles. Um, if you search that song with their name, there'll be an acoustic version to the song. And they're like in a white room, I forgot. If I could find it, I'll link it down below. Um, but if not, you can just Google that, it should pop up. And I like how that sounded in that acoustic version when they did it. It just sounded so like, I don't know, it was really like the echoes in the room, like it just made it 10 times better. But the actual song, like the actual studio recorded song is awesome too. You know we all can from the bottom of my heart. We can weather any storm, and we can't be silent. I've been loving 
that. His voice is very unique as well, and that's kind of what got me to it. I do like to listen to vocals and like the words of songs, but then I do like certain beats and songs, and then I do just like, I don't know. I like either or. Like I can listen to a song without any vocals and get really into it, and then there's other songs that I can't really listen to without vocals. It just doesn't sound right. So the last song that I'm going to share with you guys, I don't know what number we're up to, but it's Say More by a group or an artist named Marabou State featuring Jono McCleary. And my friend actually introduced me to them. Um, when he first introduced me to them, I wasn't really listening to them. Like, I just listened to them when he showed me them. But I said them like 20 times. <laughs> but anyways, um, I decided to listen to them one day in my room. And I was just playing in the background while I was like cleaning up or doing stuff. And I realized I was like getting into it. So they're usually like an instrumental group. So it's just music no vocals but a couple songs have some vocals to it whereas this one does and this one also kind of reminds me of like omens like that song so i really like the vibe of that plus they kind of have that electronic sort of raw instrument feel to them say more i like to see in your heart and soul it's enough to make you turn That one also reminds me of this time of year. Um, I definitely went for more songs that remind me of like winter and stuff. Like not holiday winter, but like after the holidays. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be listening to these songs still into the month of February when I go on my ski trip. It's gonna be amazing. Um, they'll definitely make me feel like I'm in Twilight or something, but yeah, so that was all my songs that I have featured on my playlist. If you wanna see the other songs that are also on there that I didn't get to mention, um, definitely check out the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these playlist videos or like me sharing any songs that I've been loving at the moment, just let me know down below and give me a thumbs up. And please hit that notification bell and that subscribe button if you want to keep up with my videos and know when I post a new one. Also, all my social links will be down below, like my Twitter, my Snapchat, my Instagram, the whole shebang. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.